against the law to have more than one marriage license and assume to have both of them valid, but it's not against the law to enter into a relationship with more than one person. That's true. So then, oh, that's true. We have a lot of people who have a lot of relationships, Mr. Green. That's true. But you, according to your answer, refer to these people as wife numbers one well, through seven. Are we going to talk about my definition of my relationship or the laws? If you want to talk about the laws, I don't have a marriage license with any of these ladies. So, in essence, they're all mistresses. Am I the only man in America to have a mistress? Or more than one? All oh, right. Are there laws against that? You see, so in, that, in Utah, so that what you're saying, Mr. Green, you know, judge, is, in Utah, just a second, what you're saying, Mr. Green, is that you're not married to any of these women. In my, in my mind, I'm married. Our relationship is the same as if it was a, a marriage sanctioned by the government, but I don't believe that we require a governmental sanction to make a successful relationship. Oh. If the government wanted to arrest us and come after us, they would have to arrest everyone that was cohabitating without a marriage license. I never, ever saw somebody put Judge Judy in her place. And he's a man on top of that? Listen up, y'all. Because what I'm about to say, if you don't truly love Jesus or the Bible, it's going to fly over your head or you're going to get offended. But check this out. The Bible, from beginning to end, had a bunch of men who had multiple wives. And the Most High never cared. He never got mad. And some of you are going to be so offended by this. Because you're so churched. And so indoctrinated by Christian dogma. When all you got to do is just read the book for yourself. That's all you got to do, guys. That's all you got to do. But Abraham was in a polygynous relationship. Jacob who married four wives, and if it wasn't for him, the 12 tribes of Israel would not even exist. And for all of you who says, oh, you know, well, that's the Old Testament. Well, go to Revelations, when it says those who enter into the gates, right, into the New, new Jerusalem. How come you're going to enter one of those 12 gates? Oh, I, I guess all the patriarchs in the Bible, they were wrong. They were demons because they had multiple wives. Stop it. David, who was a man, right, after Yah's own heart, after God's own heart. That's what the Bible says about David. He had multiple wives. I mean, the polygyny is all over the place. And let me just add this in there. Not polygamy, where it's an umbrella term that covers men and women can have multiple partners. No, no, no. I'm talking about polygyny, meaning a man can have multiple partners. But what this man did, he did not do a damn thing wrong. And you know what's so crazy? You know why she stumped? Because some of you don't even realize. You don't even know when the uh, marriage license came into existence. It was because of miscegenation laws. It was because of miscegenation. And guess what? They were trying to prevent the black man from marrying the white woman. Ooh. Hey, hey, the, but nobody told you about that, right? Nobody told you about that, right? Stop it. S stop it. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. That's the only reason why marriage license exists. For years, you had people marrying as they please without a marriage license. So, are you saying because the government instituted? The government, not God. Not the creator of the universe. The government instituted the marriage state license. So, therefore, if you have multiple partners, but you can only have one marriage license, that means somehow you're, you're a demon. You, you deserve to be ostracized. Stop it. Stop it. What this man is doing is biblical. And that's why Judge Judy can't say a damn thing because he knows, she knows, excuse me, that what he just did is not under <laughs> their jurisdiction. You can never trump the ways of the Bible. Never. Oh, pray. <laughs> Praise the Most High. And let me add this in there. If it was so bad, why are the women in this relationship defending that man? Oh. If the government wanted to arrest us and come after us, they would have to arrest everyone that was cohabitating without a marriage license. Ooh, you see, guess what? Guess what? You see, it's the man is always attacked in polygynous relationships. Or oh, he just wants more than one woman because he just wants to have sex. 
but yet the women are okay with this. And then some of you are so jacked, you're going to say, oh, he's somehow manipulating the women. He's somehow coercing them women. So explain in your Bible, was Sarah manipulated? Was Leah and Rachel manipulated? You see, some of you, you open your mouth so damn loosely, you here are going to judge some of the most profound people that are written inside of the Bible. What you need to do is humble yourself and shut your damn mouth. And you know what's so sad? People will condemn biblical marriage, such as polygyny. But you know what they accept? They accept that side chick on the side. Oh, side chick culture is, prom is promoted and praised in society. Stop it. They will promote that baby mama, right? Who, when the man then left her, she's now still running back to that man. Even though she knows that man has another woman. But I guess that's okay because, she, what, she's the first woman? Because she's the baby? Stop it. Stop. <laughs> Woo! With that being said, the message sent. Nick over and out. Jesus is king, y'all.